What is going with it, True Crew? Well, come back! It's been a while since I've done a video for the culture. So let's get into it. If you've been here long enough, you'd know that fun balloons are an intricate part of my life. And I'm not ashamed to let you know that either, okay? I enjoy titty. I'm what you would call a titty connoisseur. When it comes to anime girls and the milk sacks they got on their chest, that's what I do best. As a matter of fact, I was gonna go to college to actually study about all of this, but they didn't let me in for obvious reasons. So here I am. Just kind of spreading my knowledge of what it is that I enjoy. And y'all enjoy too. So in light of all of this, I think it's fair that we display the best anime fun balloons 2021 has to offer. This is the Your True Captain Fun Balloons starting lineup. Chlamydia. Let's go. Stupid. Okay. We got the basketball court set up here for our starting five. Pretty much what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna take the biggest and baddest and best anime fun balloons that we have to offer in 2021 and making a starting lineup from that, okay, of five. You could think of this as Kuroko no Basket, but with titties, okay? It's not that hard. I decided to revolve this around basketball because the new Looney Tunes movie is coming out very soon and I'm very excited for that. Plus, I, I'm black, so it just, it just makes sense. Just like in basketball, you got a point guard, you got a shooting guard, you got a small forward, you got a power forward, you got a center. All of this will be incorporated proportional to the fun balloon side. If y'all haven't gotten your popcorn yet, your drinks, your lotion, now is the best time to do so because substitute teacher cap is back in business amen but before we begin ladies and gentlemen i just want to point out okay there are no girls below the age of 18 on this list me ladies and gentlemen i'm a professional okay i've been doing this a long time i got a keen eye okay i know which titty is gonna get me locked up and which titty is gonna take me to the promised land like you know what i'm saying i'm not a fucking playground sniper okay we're not a go going out here Finding little girls to put on this list. You think I'm gonna pre-order these bitches early and before their release date? Like, what do you, what they, what do, what do I look like to you? I am not EDP, okay? I, you ain't, <laughs> y'all are aware, okay? Y'all are, y'all should be aware. Y'all should know exactly what's gonna go down here. So without further ado, let's examine some titties. Now the first pair of fun balloons on our list, okay? And this should not even be a surprise. Tsunade from Naruto. Now ladies and gentlemen, okay? Let me tell you something. A wise man once told me the cow with the biggest udders has the most farmers milking on her shit. And that same principle applies here, okay? I mean, come on. Like, did y'all really think I wasn't gonna put Tsunade on this list, bro? Her left titty is the size of Caillou's whole head. Literally. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. The fact that she don't even use any of them while she's doing her jutsu, it just, it pisses me off. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like it's just wasted potential. I know I can go out there and find like a hentai where she does some shit like that. She probably got some sort of like titty enlarging jutsu. But like, that shit, this shit should be canned. Tonight's fun balloons are literally lethal. Meaning them shits can literally kill you. Yeah! All she gotta do is turn around. All she, if you get caught in one of these while she's turning around and lobs across and hits you in the face, you dead. You just a dead man. It's over. You not coming back. And for that reason, she gotta be on here. Okay, she gotta be on here. Let us indict her to, to, the, to, to the starting lineup. On behalf of the true crew, we accept this tip. Next up in the forward position, ladies and gentlemen, we got Rangiku from Bleach. Now listen, I don't got a problem dying right now if I know that Rangiku's tickle bitties are waiting for me in the soul society. Like, you know what I'm saying? She got quite possibly the best sculpted shits I have ever seen. I have ever seen. I want to calculate the circumference, the surface area, the radius. All right now, all you need is to calculate this shit is the tape measure. You feel me? Just take the tape. Hold on, hold on. Let me get, let me get my tape. Who took my measure? Who took my titty measure? You gotta have pr precise measurements. When you when you calculate it, listen, bro. If her tickle bitties got my zompak toe standing up, then that's all that matters. Like you know what I'm saying? Rangiku, you and your titties have hereby been selected to the list. Amen. Okay. Next girl, we got Mitsuri from Demon Slayer. Now y'all that have been here long enough, y'all know exactly how I feel about Mitsuri. She know exactly what she doing with that watermelon flavored hair. And that whip! Think of it like this, okay? Think of it like this. Up until now, we've just been dealing with some milk jugs that got regular milk in them. Just regular, plain, 2% white milk. Now Mitsuri busts down the door, and she says, I got the strawberry flavor, nigga. What you gonna do about it? What we gonna do? 
We can tell her now we don't want your delicious strawberry flavored milk that you came in here busting down the doors with. Hell no. That's practically discrimination, my nigga. I like milk in all flavors. I swear to God, especially if it's strawberry milk. You know what I do for some strawberry? Nice. We gonna take that. We gonna take that every single time. She's on the list. Next up, we got something that's a little bit more peculiar. We got Satsuki from Key La Q. Some of y'all probably saying to yourselves, Cap, what are you doing? She not even busting like that compared to the other ones. She gotta have at least 100 inches on her chest. You tripping right now. Dislike, toxic. I told y'all I'm a professional when it comes to this. Let me, let me do my job. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, big titties don't solve all your problems, okay? I've been there, I've done that. I know it sounds crazy, but it really doesn't solve your problems all the time. Sometimes, she gotta have some jiggle physics, okay? She gotta have some jiggle physics. Just imagine her jumping up and down and them shit's just sitting firmly in place. That is traumatizing. Or her shit just be moving in like slow motion, like gravity don't affect her shit. Them Jigglypuffs gotta be moving, man. They can't just be sitting around like a nigga with no job application. This is where Satsuki really comes to shine, okay? Because I think her jiggle physics are some of the best I have ever seen, ever. I guess what I'm trying to say is, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes less is more. Um, unless we're talking about her age, in which case, that is never the case. More is always better. And that leaves us with the last, okay? I saved the best for last. Robin from One Piece. Let me peep y'all on some game next time you go titty shop. You know how, like, when you go to the supermarket, you know the fruit is ripe just by smelling it? You know the titty is prime when you can use them shits as bowling balls. I'm just saying. See, I wish that I had Nico Robbins tickle bitties when I was playing Wii Sports Bowling. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause all of my bowls would have been straight strikes. No spares. You, you, you. You and me, we just don't get enough. It would literally be a strike every single time. My Billy knows best than to mess up opportunities like that. Some honorable mentions that I want to make. Definitely Madara Uchiha. His right titty nearly destroyed the entire world during the war, okay? Now, technically, he only has one. But we don't discriminate here. I'll definitely put him on the bench. He'll be like our sixth man in case any of these girls wear out their jewels. I also want to give a strong nomination to Lola Bunny. She'd have definitely been on here if she did not get nerfed. My penis is feeling the after effects of her nerf. She got nerfed so bad. It's too bad that she just lost all of the junk in her frunk. And like, it's she looked like a tomboy now. But we just got to move on, ladies and gentlemen. It pains me to say it, but we just got to move on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, everything is set. This is your 2021 anime fun balloon starting lineup okay presented to you by bangbros.com let me just break this down to you over here all the way on the left we got mitsuri who's our point guard or our titty guard is what i like to call it she gonna be the one that's gonna be orchestrating all the plays then right next to her we got our girl satsuki i like to call these two right here the splash sisters not because they get buckets or anything like that but because they definitely gonna have your ass busting up by the end of the game moving on we got our small forward position right here going to Ron Geek. Then in our power forward position right here, we got Nico Robin. And obviously, we can't forget about the Shaquille O'Neal of titties herself. Tsunade playing center right in the middle. Oh, and I forgot. We got our boy Madara on the bench. I couldn't afford like a bench in this diagram. So like he's just gonna be sitting in the corner right here. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, this is a science that I've mastered. But just to prove, I don't know exactly what I'm talking about. We're gonna run a sample play. This play like works like 90% of the time. It's got like a 99% success rate. Okay, so here we go. Play opens up with the inbounds pass. Mitsuri's gonna be dribbling the ball up the court. While Mitsuri has the ball, there's gonna be two things bouncing. The only problem is you're only gonna be paying attention to one of them. But like if you know what I'm saying. Over here on the right, Satsuki's being a thirsty bitch. She just wants the balls. I mean, she just wants the ball. So Tsunade comes out from the key, puts a nice screen on your ass so that Satsuki can be free to take the ball right here on the three-point line. You gotta remember, Tsunade's titties take up like the whole court, okay? So there ain't no way you're gonna get around that screen that quick. So Satsuki has the ball. She does a pump fake, and your ass is just sitting there looking at her jingle bells going up and down, up and down. She got your ass in a genjutsu at this point. Satsuki moves on the three-point line right here, and she sees Rangiku sitting in the corner right here. She gives the ball to Rangiku. Rangiku drops the ball, okay? And as soon as you're about to pick it up, she just flashes your ass. Like, she takes, she just straight flashes. So then you see, you're like, oh, shit, man. Like, bruh, look at them double Ds. Yeah, look how perfectly symmetrical her shits are. Your boy who's guarding Nico Robin over here, he sees all of this happening in the corner, okay? So he comes in for the double team. He's not gonna let you get 
the double D's by yourself. He's gonna, he wants to run a trade. While Nico Robin is free underneath the basket, Rangiku passes the ball to Nico Robin. They know Nico Robin is bussing, like straight bussing. So you yell at everybody on the court. You say, yo, run the triple train on her ass. Make sure she does not score. You're coming at her from the front. You're coming at her from the back. And you're coming at her from underneath. Nico Robin was there at Water 7. Okay, so she's familiar with how these trains work. She got a high train IQ. She lobs some titty up. Tsunade catches the ball and just dunks it down in the basket right here. Everybody busting up. The whole court just looked like a slip and slide now. Like they had to cancel the game. And so our girls right here win by default. I like to call this play teamwork meets titty because at, like they work together to 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 do what they had to do like you know what i'm saying that was the 2021 fun balloon starting lineup if you have not liked the video yet man like i don't understand i gave you free real estate you got all of this and you ain't still like the video make sure you like the video okay i already know this video is about to get demonetized the hell out youtube does not they obviously they don't enjoy it when I do stuff like this. But if y'all really do enjoy it, just hit that like button, baby. Just hit that like button, baby. Let's see if we can get 1,500 likes. 1,500 likes on this video. And and maybe, maybe I'll do some sort of part two to this. And if y'all have not subbed to the channel, man, make sure you do me a big favor and sub to the channel. Hit that red sub button. You're not gonna be a blood. I already explained this to y'all, okay? Just because it's red don't mean that it's gang affiliated. And if y'all have not hit that join button, man, make sure you do me a big favor and also hit that join button located at the bottom of this video. For $1.99 a month, you can feel good knowing that you actively support the channel and you get cool things like badges, emojis, you might even get some tickle bitties, man. Like, I might just hook you up with one of these girls. So make sure you hit that join button, support the channel. If you can, I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody that has come through and participated in this beautiful celebration. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some unfinished business to attend to. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Surprisingly, there is only one Gear Fourth member this month, and that is my boy Master Shogi. Shout out to you, my boy. You've been with me for a minute. Hit that join button, become a member, and join these legends today. Like Jonathan Dio, Brand, don't kill it. How many feel like Joe Star? Whole star. DS wants to be punk.